Antonio James, one of basketball's leading players. I'm going to start off with the hard hitting questions if that's all right with you. That's fine. Okay, how devastating will the loss of Stan and Crispy for the season? You do start off hard, huh? Well, losing any member of a team is very devastating. I think Coach took it the hardest. All we can do now is just count our losses. What about the rest of the team? Um, they were devastated as well, but it does give a couple other players a chance to shine. Uh, we do have some fighters left, so don't count us out just yet. So with that said, what's up next for you guys? Work, play, practice hard, study, and win. That sounds simple enough. As a critic, I have to say myself and most fans would agree, you guys have a little trouble closing the deal. Is there any change up in the plan this season? Because I know when you missed that shot, you had to be devastated. There seemed like a lot of political problems between the coaches and the players also. Um, I think anybody missing a shot like that would be devastated. That's why I'm in a rec practice of 24-7. You know, and as far as the team, I think the coaches and the players need to learn how to trust each other a little bit more. Um, the coaches see things on the court just a little bit different than we do. So if we just learn how to trust each other, everything will be okay. Yeah, I can see how that happens. Sometimes the player and the coaches get so far into the game, they develop this tunnel vision, and it's all miscommunication from there. Is there any team you're particularly looking out for this season? Mm, nah, everybody's on watch. Just because we lose a couple players does not mean that we're not coming with our A game, okay? <laughs> Doesn't that sound intense? Well, Darnell, I appreciate your presence, and I thank you. This has been Sports Watch. See you next time. Cut. Hey, yo, Akil, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, what's up? That's what I was about to ask you, bro. How's school going? Uh, same old, same old. Just struggling in some of my classes, but for the most part, I'm good. Man, stats is kicking my ass, but other than that, everything's okay. You got your girlfriend yet? Nah, man, I'm too busy. I'm saving your horse for the lonely nights, huh? <laughs> nah, I just been doing events like this, you know? Like photo shoots and everything. Uh, I can play yeah. boy, right? Yeah. <laughs> nah. I'm messing with you, man. I see a couple of your work. You're decent. Thanks, man. So, how's basketball? I know everybody's been riding you since coach messed up that play and those rubs missing those calls. Yeah, What's okay, up? Man. Good as mad, I swear. Bro. But anyways, you want me? Always. Um, I know this is nice Italian, nice. Damn, I forgot that I got Twitter right now to go to. Hey, maybe another time. Make sure you call me, okay? Hey, definitely. All right, serious, bro. I'll get up with you, okay? All right, bro. All right. Sorry, I'm late. Just can't do this interview, man. It was super long today. Mr. James, let me remind you that I do have other students to tutor. I know that. That's why I apologize. Now, can we please get to the study session? Okay, superstar. Get out your textbook. I think I left my book down. Really? <laughs> I can go get it if you want me to. I'm so sorry. No, I have another session. By the time you run home and get back, my other student will be here. You look cute when you're frustrated, right? Please do not try to get on my good side. Let's keep it professional, okay? Don't need none of your little girlfriends coming after me. Little girlfriends? Yeah. Whatever. Let's just start with that last session we had, okay? Okay. Stats can be hard, but luckily for you, you have one of the best tutors in the state. Really? Yeah. Is that good? <laughs> well, not to be my own horn, but too, too. <laughs> None of my students get below a B in any class. Oh, that's good. I'm so glad I bumped into Letitia. Well, I would have never met you. 
Well, let's try Gamble's and pride ourselves on serving the yard and the community. So. The yard? Oh, uh, it's what Greeks call the Gamble's. Oh, I just thought it meant to step. See, that movie got a lot of people really thinking the wrong thing about Greek life. But then again, it's Hollywood. Nothing is real, so. I see. You know, I'm pretty surprised. You're really down to earth. They say those trigammers are like prima donnas or something. <laughs> yeah, that's a stereotype in other people's opinions. And you know what they say about opinions. It's like an asshole. Everyone has one. But let's get back to this work. Enough of that Greek talk, okay? Yeah, let's get to work. It's open. Hey, baby. Hey, what's up, man? What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't plan on having company over. So, what are you doing here? I came to see you. You got to give me a better warning than that. Boy, shut up. You act like you're trying to kick me out. You're really trying to put me out. I mean, I didn't plan on having company over. Besides, I have stuff to do. Stuff to do? What kind of stuff do you have to do? I do have a life outside of this relationship, you know? I am involved. I have stuff to do. What kind of stuff, Travis? Stuff, man. Stuff. Sometimes I have projects or homework that needs to be done. Other times I may just want to kick it with the fellas or alone. Can I be alone sometimes? But you're always saying you have stuff to do. Because I do. But I always make time for you. Every project, every time there's something that needs to be done, I make time for you so that you're okay. That was for us, our time. I just want to spend time with you. You act like I'm doing this myself. You're not listening. Then what are you saying? I need my space. I'm around you almost every day, and I can't think straight with you in my head all the time just yapping. Is that all you think we do? All the dates, the concerts, all that? Listen, I'm not saying I don't want you around. I'm just saying I need my space. And I can't think straight with you smothering me. Fuck you. It's open. What's wrong? Nothing. Some uh, homework. So, what's good? School. You remember my writing teacher I was telling you about? Yeah. He assigned this five page reflection on our childhood. Travis, you're not even listening. Why is it that we never talk? It's like all we do is have sex. I thought you knew your place. I'm serious. Don't you care about me? Of course I do. I wouldn't be here if I didn't. But you don't seem to show it. Show what? We do stuff all the time. We don't do anything. How much do you even know about me? What's my favorite color? Come on, girl. Travis, what's my favorite color? Blue. Okay. That was easy. What's... I know your favorite thing to eat is macaroni. See? We do talk. We go places. We party. We study. Listen to everything you have to tell me about your terrible friends. Stop. You say that like you love me. You know I do. You promise? Yeah. You wasn't even paying attention. So I said... Hello? No, no, it's not. Yeah, I can. Alright. Bye. Who is that? Oh, uh, don't worry about it. It was just some beers. How are you always that? Look, I told you. We'll talk another time. Mm -hmm. I got it. Well, I guess I'm right. Wishing I can spend a night. She fuck her own. She still looks like a baby bottle. Look at this one. I'm sorry I'm late. It's cool, it's cool. I'm just working on this hook for you. You see? I want to see you try it out. Okay. All right. Yep, there All you right. go. It may never ever happen again. Can I do that again? It's 
been a bit of a stressful day. It's cool. Started from the top. Oh. It may never ever happen again. So Stop, Camille. I want you to try it one more time. It may never ever happen again. So be. Nah, just stop. No, no. I can't work with the damsel in distress. Come out here. What are you talking about? I can tell that something's wrong. You're not glowing like you usually are. Yeah, your singer's off the chain, but I can hear the stress. It's nothing to worry about. I'll get over it. Nah, nah. See, I need the real Camille. This stressed out one is gonna stress me out. I haven't even seen that beautiful smile of yours. See? Now we're getting somewhere. Now we just gotta get rid of that stress. So I got two bottles of Jack Daniels and two shot glasses. Girl, I was just playing. <laughs> I was just gonna say I don't drink Jack Daniels, but if you had a couple margaritas or some Mai Tais, maybe we could talk. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. See? You're starting to loosen up. Look, I understand. I was devastated when I lost my dog, too. Dog, I don't have a dog. Really? I could have sworn you were upset because... Don't tell me this is man problems. You're way too perfect to be stressing over a man. What makes you think I'm perfect? What makes you think you're not? Hey, dog. Why are y'all looking at me? Hello. So, Camille, what's happening? How's the mixtape going? I'm in the studio. What's up? We should like to do a performance for our homecoming party. I'm always down to give the fans a nice little performance. Okay, I'm happy you're excited. So now, if we know you're on board, I will send you an email. Alright, cool. Yeah, no. <laughs> Great news, ladies! What? Prolific is performing at our homecoming party! <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I am Letitia Parker. Bitch! You ain't shit! <laughs> Amber, don't hate it. It don't look good on you. Anyways, ladies, back to business. Yes, let's hurry. Because I got plans and I do not want to be here all night. You have plenty of time to bust. But we can get to this business. Please, Amber, don't start. You don't offer him stuff done. These meetings be all fucking night. Well, as soon as Destiny gets here, she'll be able to update us on the food drive that we are helping co sponsor with God Right Enterprises. Well, Destiny needs to hurry up because I've had a long time. Here she go. Well, since you asked. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying. So you know I'm tutoring during your James, right? Oh, fine as hell. And look at you. Ready to bus. Bite me. Hmm. Well, anyway, finish. Thank you. Before I was so rudely interrupted. Like I said, I'm tutoring during your James. This fool had the nerve to show up to my session late, and then he gets on the phone with his girlfriend. Who's that? What? Come on, ladies, let's get back to business. This is business, Letitia. How, Stacy? Well, if you let me finish. Well, go ahead. Finish. As I was saying, it's not about Darnell, but it was about the young lady that came in after him. Her name is Jasmine, and she's very interesting. How so? Well, she's everything a trigam is supposed to be. She has beauty, talent, intellect, poise. I mean, come on. With a little bit of guidance, she'd be a great leader of the next flesh class. Hmm. That's good and all, Stacey. But remember, ladies, Trigam Sorority Incorporated does not need anyone. This, this is, is true. true. It's true. Okay, this is true. This is true. But you understand what I'm trying to say. Girl, yeah, whatever. I understand. But, um, ladies, we need to get back to business. We need to let you know. Girl, where you at? We cannot finish this week without you. Cause you wear. This is our present of my You picked her up. I know. Why did you pick her up? Dodo picked her up. All right, so I'll come get you. All right, bye. 
Sorry, ladies, but we have to finish this meeting when I get back. Oh, <gasps> see, this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to be in peak time so we can go home. Seriously, though. That's the smartest thing she's ever said. Whatever, ladies. I'll finish this when I get back. Well, I won't be here. Girl, you better be back when I get back. Bye. Thanks, to you I'm playing, too. Hey. Hey. Are you sitting here long? Yeah, I'm just waiting for a friend. Girlfriend? No. Boyfriend? Hey, I was just asking. You never know these days. No, I'm just waiting for a friend. Well, I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt or anything, but you're not familiar. What's your name again? Yeah. Ah, you're the one who's complaining about our study jet. You're so true. Whatever. I talk it out with my sisters, and we do agree that sometimes our study jams does turn to social, so we could. Hey, it's none of my business. I'm just saying, I can't really study with music. Maybe some people can. Well, you don't have to take it back. I mean, it was a great suggestion, so we like to support everyone to the study. So, what exactly do you study? Mm, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but mostly photography. <laughs> what? You're a photographer? What kind? Any type of events. Even personal? Yeah. Letitia, your order is ready. Oh, I almost forgot. I got some food to make my sister. Do you mind helping me? Sure, no problem. Oh, well, since she likes taking pictures, do you mind taking some for me? Sure, I just need to know what time in the place. Basketball's bleeding players. I'm going to start off with the hard And if you're good, I might try to keep you to myself. Well, I don't really do exclusives, but I'm pretty sure we can work something out. Oh look, there goes our nail. He says he's pretty cool for a popular guy. I bet he's nice. Yeah, I'm sure he is. Yeah, I did. He seems a lot. Hey, Mr. Boyfriend, I know. What's up, Jibel? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks, Kenny. Denise, sweetheart. I gotta go. Okay. I'm in early class tomorrow. Okay. Um, don't forget to get those papers to Travis. He needs to sign them for us to get the Ken out of the rally approved. I'll take care of them first thing in the morning. Okay. Uh, you have a good night. You too. Let me know when you get home, hon. I'll text you. Bye. See you later, baby. Nice to meet you. Hi. DJ, not tonight. I want to know why you call it another man, huh? It's a form of expression. Don't tell me that you just said Kenny. I'm clearly not. He's clearly gay. Please, he is not gay. If he's not gay, then I'm clearly the president of the United States, okay? Well, Mr. Obama, how was your day? Super long. I had another reporter that just had to ask me about that championship game. It's running late for tutoring and the coach is still on my ass about these grades, man. Well, just take your time and be patient. I mean, you do have to pass this stats class in order for you to play. But your coach is just being hard on you because he knows you got it in you. He sees potential. Don't worry about what these reporters have to say or anybody else because you are one hell of a ball player. And if don't nobody see that, that's they loss. <laughs> I see you, baby. That's why I love you. You're always looking out for me, man. Uh, you know I got you. Thank you. You're so nasty. Next time on the U. I got a call from the record label. And? I'm talking about drop What? what? I'm great, so how's your day? You answer when I call. I understand. If you can't make the grades, I'm going to be forced to bench you. Try Gamma Sorority Incorporated is a non-hazing organization. You always so quick to accuse me of cheating. That's because that's what you do. <laughs> we have nothing to talk about. Darnell James Jr. 